Hi, Stephanie Mullen, back with you to show you how to use Rampant's Glitch Transitions X plugin for Final Cut Pro 10. In this FCPX plugin tutorial, I'm going to show you the following features found in the Glitch Transitions X plugin. How to add glitch transitions to your edit, how to change the blend mode, how to add displacement to clip number one, how to add displacement to clip number two, how to change the hue, and then how to change the tint color. Now first, if you are not aware on how to install this plugin or any other rampant FCPX plugin, check out the description below where you will find a link to the plugin installation tutorial. All right, we already have everything installed, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. And we're gonna talk about the first feature, how do we add these glitch transitions to our actual video footage? Well, this is really simple. As you can see here, I already have footage in my timeline, okay? And to find our transitions, we're gonna go over here, we're gonna open up the transition browser, click that, and then we're gonna scroll down and you're gonna look for your RDT transitions. And right here, we have glitch transition volume one, two, three, and four. There are actually four volumes of the glitch transitions. They all act the same. I'm only gonna be showing you one today, but they actually all work the exact same way. So let's go ahead and look at these. If you click on one, you'll see that there are here are all your transitions. There are actually 40 in every pack. So there's 40 in volume one, 40 in volume two, and volume three, and volume four. Okay, so you're getting a lot of transitions in each of these, which is really, really nice. What we're gonna do is we're gonna be working with uh, volume two. I like the way that they're like sort of analog, uh, if you can look here. So they're really, really neat transitions, and I think they're really awesome. So that's what we're gonna be working with today. Again, all of the transitions work exactly the same way, so it doesn't matter which volume you purchase or which one you're using, they all work the same way. All right, so how do we get this onto our video? Very simple, we select it, should have a yellow box. We drag it to our timeline and place it right between both of our clips and let it go. And there, that's it. So if I play this, if I rewind it and play it, we have a transition. All right, very nice. Now, you can stop here. You have a distortion transition added. It works really well, it looks really nice. But you can also jump into the features of the actual plugin and sort of dig in a little more. And that's what we're gonna do. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this whole thing here and I'm going to put it down here and then I'm going to copy this and put this down here. This is so I can show you what it looks like when we start adding some different effects to it. So, all right, let's take, take a look into this actual transition. So select your transition. Come over here to the inspector. Let's open that up. And here you're gonna see all of your controls for your transition. There are a lot of them, but they're so, so neat. So let's start talking about each of them individually. All right, let's start with our first control, which is actually gonna be feature number two, which is gonna be changing the blend mode. And as you can see right here, it's a drop down box. So right now it's set as screen. That's gonna be your default. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this over just a bit so we can actually see the transition happening. All right, right there. So like I said, the default is gonna be screen, but if you open that up, you can actually change it to add, you can change it to overlay, and then you can change it to multiply. Each of these is going to give you a very unique transition effect, so definitely play with all of these. I'm gonna show you one other one later in the, in the tutorial, but you definitely try all these out, they're really, really cool. Right now, we're gonna keep it on screen. And now that we know how to change the blend mode, let's talk about feature number three, which is gonna be adding displacement to our transition. Now what's really cool about this feature is that it's gonna allow us to actually use the transition to actually distort our video footage below it. So it's gonna manipulate it, which is really, really neat. And as you can see here, there are control buttons to turn it on and off. Also, one other thing that's really neat is that there are, this is broken into two transition displacement parts. So you have a displacement for transition clip number one, and you also have for transition clip number two, which is very, very neat. But let's start with clip number one first. Now, like I was doing over here, I always like to put my playhead where I can see the actual um, display, the displacement or distortion actually taking place. So that's a good place. Let's go ahead and turn it on. And right here, you're gonna, the first thing you're gonna see is there's gonna be a drop down box of direction and amount and horizontal and vertical scale. Let's start with the direction and amount. So with this slider, you're gonna be able to pull it to the left and to the right, and you're gonna be able to actually affect the distortion. So let's say I want it over here. And then the direction is just like what it sounds like. You're actually gonna be able to manipulate where the angle is. So if I spin this around, you'll see it spinning in a little circle right there, okay? So that's the first part. If we change this to the horizontal and vertical scale, this is where you're gonna be able to pull it left or right and then up or down, okay? So it's very subtle. You can see it's very small right there. But, all right, so it's going up and down. That's putting displacement or distortion on clip number one. Now let's go to clip number two. So let's first move this down so we actually have our clip number two showing. 
Let's turn on this, the displacement. Let's do the amount. Let's go crazy. Let's do it like that. And then again, you can see here's the rotation. And then let's do the horizontal and vertical scale. We'll put it up like that. Let's just get crazy with it. Perfect. All right, now let's go ahead and play this through. And there you go. It's actually distorting the video, which is really, really cool. So neat. And if I let this play, you'll see here's the original without distortion, and then it's going to show you the distortion. So very, very nice. I love it. Now let's go ahead and duplicate these again. I just want to keep these so you guys can see them each time we do it. All right, so here's our displacement. We have it going. This is the one we just had. Okay, let's show it again. Now let's talk about our next feature, which is going to be feature number four, which is changing the hue. Okay, so all we need to do is go back here and we're going to scroll ourselves down here a little bit and here's our hue color. Okay, now this is going to allow you to, you can change the saturation of what you see right now. So if I say undo, or you can use the wheel and change it to whatever color you would like, say pink, red, green, whatever you would like, you can do it here as well. So maybe we'll do a blue and then to make it really, really, really dark, or let's take some of the color out of it. Let's do it like that. So let's rewind this and then you can see the hue change. See, it went from here, which was a blue to a green. Okay. So that's pretty neat. And again, you can change it to whatever you want if you want it to be pink or whatever. And this is for all the hue. Now also, before we get going any further, I want to tell you that you can reset all of your parameters if you just go over here and say reset. Okay. That's going to take everything back to zero. So maybe you didn't like your distortion or you didn't like the color, whatever you were doing, you can change that really back back to the default setting if you want if you want to do that. So that is feature number four, how to change the hue. Talking about color, let's go ahead and look at feature number five, which is changing the tint. Now where the hue is a subtle color, the tint is going to be a like turn the entire glitch transition color to one. So if we highlight that there and I turn the color on, you'll see it turn pink. If I open this box up, then we can make it whatever color we want. So maybe we want to keep it on pink. If we rewind that and press play, you'll see it's pink now. Now what I think is really cool, let's try this. I did this earlier. I put it on white, which I really liked and then played it through. It's like the lights are flashing. I think that's pretty neat, but you have the ability to turn this to whatever color you like, pink, white, green, whatever. doesn't matter. It's really, really a really cool function. So that's the tint. You can also work with the tint intensity, which is right here. So you can turn it down. This is going to blend your tint color in with your hue color, which is kind of cool. So if we look at that, that's very neat. All right. And those are all your features. Now, like I told you at the beginning, I wanted to show you one other thing with the, uh, with the distortion is the, with the blend modes. So if I go up here and I change this from screen to overlay, and I want to rewind this and show you, just want to show you the difference. See, that's pretty neat. So here's, here's all of our clips. We have the beginning clip without any displacement. Then we have the distortion with the dis displacement. And then I change the blend mode. So, so many options in there. And then of course you can work with the color, the hue and the tint and everything. So, so awesome. I love this plugin and I can't believe all of that fit into one FCPX plugin. That's just amazing. So that's it. If you're interested in any more plugins, tutorials, and training, head on over to rampantdesigntools.com. Also, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment below. Again, I'm Stephanie Mullen with Rampant Design. Thanks for watching. Bye.